my GCSE syllabus statement 278 that coordinated responses require a stimulus, a receptor and an effector. Our receptor will position here and this receptor is going to be able to detect what is known as a stimulus or stimuli which is a change in the environment. Remember that the environment can be regarded as the external environment or the internal body conditions, the internal environment. The receptors refer the incoming information to what is known as a coordinator. In the human system, the coordinator is composed of the brain and the spine, the spinal cord, and together they constitute the central nervous system. These can be thought as being the regulating centers. Having compared the information and the stimulus to the regulated conditions we wish to maintain, there is then output from the coordinator to the effectors. These are often things like muscles or glands parts of organ systems and the output is known as the response.